reaction. And um, I understand that a former colleague of yours, Peter Horzak, as he was making the round of uh, job interviews, was shocked at the depth of the perception that the um, current administration is anti business Where do you think that emanates from? Uh, I have, I'm aware of that perception. You hear it from businesses across the country, and I spend a lot of time, of course, talking to people that run businesses across the country. Uh, and I, I think it's a very damaging perception. Uh, where does it come from? Uh, it's uh, very complicated. A lot of it comes from what they view as unfair, generally indiscriminately vilifying rhetoric from people in Washington. Part of it comes from concern about whether Washington is going to be capable of making hard choices. Part of it comes from concern that we're not making enough progress quickly enough on, that, on things that matter to business. Part of it is uncertainty about how the new reforms in healthcare and finances are going to actually play out in fact business as a whole. It's got a lot of sources, but it's very important that we try to fix it. And I think that uh, we're like, uh, like you, you judge people by your actions, not just by what they say and what they're for, and uh, what you need to see from, from us, and I think from Washington, is Washington be able to make progress on things and do a better job of improving the basic incentives for how business operates in the country. And that's why I referred at the beginning to the proposals the president pulled out, put out in, uh, in September for uh, trying to create a better environment for businesses to spend and to hire. Do you think it 